guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Shelby. Um, I'm a health and fitness coach um, and nutrition coach online. Um, I dabble with a little bit of stuff still in person, but very, very small. Um, and welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here today. So um, you probably got to this video because you were looking for a way to get more protein into your diet. And um, as much as everybody you know knows that meats are usually kind of like the go-to source for protein, maybe you're looking for a way to not have to eat more volume, not have to eat more meat to get your protein in. This is something that comes up with clients all the time and uh, you know your girl loves meat <laughs> not in a weird way but like ground beef chicken whatever like i'm all for it and this is not a, a video for like going vegan or anything like that um, or vegetarian it's really more about how do we include other foods that we're not getting in so much volume from meat or if we're just like it is too much it's filling me up too much or i'm just looking for another way to get some other protein sources in so let's dive into it. So um, first and foremost, protein wise, um, typically we are looking to increase protein for a couple of different reasons. One, we're not eating enough in our diet right now. Um, I'm going to put our metrics in both uh, pounds and kilograms here for you. So this is what we should typically be aiming for. And if you're not here right now, if you're really far off from this, I typically tell people try to increase by like somewhere between 10 to 20 grams of protein at a time to get you to this range. If you look at protein online, you'll see that what is considered normal is much lower than these numbers. Um, and that's more so for preventing muscle wasting. <laughs> Meaning like if you were in bed at the hospital and we wanted to maintain muscle mass and not have muscle wasting or basically like decreasing your muscle mass, that's like your bottom line. But we're not talking about bottom line amount of protein. We are talking about optimizing the amount of protein that you're taking in your diet so that we can build more muscle mass, so that we can have um, sustained energy, all of the things that we need for protein in our diet. So these are the metrics that we're looking for. Um, and again, if you are not there yet, slowly increase. It's much easier than trying to go from zero to 100. We know that with everything, um, taking a stepwise approach to get to that amount is great. So when this happens, right, when clients come to me and say, I'm nowhere near that, um, how am I gonna start increasing? Like, how do I get more protein in? That's what we're gonna dive into today. So obviously we know that we can do things like increasing your portion sizes of the foods that you're already eating that are protein sources. So, um, you know, if you are doing, let's say for breakfast, you're doing some eggs, um, some chicken sausage along with whatever else, right? But those are like your two main protein sources. We can obviously add another egg. We can add more chicken sausage, right? Increasing volume of the foods that you're already eating is a simple one, but what if you're just like not about that? You're not trying to eat more chicken sausage. You're not trying to eat more turkey at lunch. You're not trying to eat another chicken thigh at dinner, right? We want to do something different. So that's really what I want to get into today. So yes, meat is a great source of protein, but there are a lot of other foods out there that are going to be fantastic for you when it comes to protein. Let me refer to notes. All right, so the first thing that most people do um, and that I recommend that I think is very simple is adding in a protein shake. And that may seem really um, like straightforward and like, duh, you can add in a protein shake or a protein bar. But in terms of volume of food, much easier for a lot of people to get down 20 to 25 grams of a liquid protein source than it is to add another, you know, four ounces of chicken breast. So um, getting a quality protein powder that you can throw in with just water and down really quickly is a super easy way to do that. Most proteins are going to be at least 20 grams of protein. Um, sorry, most protein shakes are going to be at least 20 grams of protein. So we're looking at, you know, uh, Legion, that is what I use. It's 22 grams per serving. So if I am low on protein for the day, I'll do at least one scoop. Sometimes I'll do two scoops so that I'm getting up upwards of 44 grams of protein. And it's so easy to put that down, right? Because it's a liquid form. Protein bars also typically just a little bit more satisfying because they come in yummy flavors. Um, if you're not feeling like, again, eating a chicken breast, then putting down a protein bar that's got somewhere I would say protein bars at minimum 15 grams to be actually considered a protein bar um, like a 10 gram protein bar is not really doing too much for you 15 grams or higher um, upwards of 20 25 grams 
um, to get in a good amount of protein would be a great way to start. Again, um, not a ton of volume, but adding in something different. And again, to me, protein shakes, um, you can get vegan sources, you can get um, whey protein sources, either one of those is like the easiest thing to say, like, if I need to put that down quickly, boom, we can do that, right? End of the day, you're not at your protein goal or needing to start your day off with some protein, you can put down a protein shake pretty quickly. Um, and again, of course, and you do have your protein bars as well. Um, I don't do protein bars quite as often, but I am a fan of the uh, Cliff Builder bars. Some people will say, oh my gosh, there's a bunch of stuff in that. That's, you know, one of the more processed things that I eat as a protein bar then that's totally fine. Again, the pros outweigh the cons when you're eating a lot of these protein bars. You're gonna have people out there saying, you shouldn't eat all this, this, that, and the other, all the things that are in this. But um, at the end of the day, for me, if you are increasing your protein and we're getting in more fiber and things like that, um, from some of these more quote unquote processed foods, um, a lot of times the pros are gonna outweigh the cons of you having a couple of ingredients that maybe we don't like quite as much, but you're not living off of those. I digress. Different thing that we're talking about today. So other ways we can get in more protein again that are not related to meat. So next one is dairy, okay? And if you can't have dairy, obviously, just skip ahead of this part. Um, but if you can have dairy, dairy is a fantastic source of getting in more protein. We've got your eggs and egg whites, right? Very basic, first things first. We know that those are a great way to get more protein in per serving, very easy. And again, and that's not meat related, but also things like your milks and your yogurts are fantastic for getting in protein. Greek yogurt, there's lots of options out there and most of them have at least 15 grams of protein. Adding that to a meal, let's say like you have your main uh, lunch, but you add a Greek yogurt and add an extra 15 grams of protein with the side for your lunch, fantastic. Um, there are Greek yogurts that are upwards of 20 grams. Um, I believe it's Oikos maybe that has one, um, the Too Good yogurt is one that I like as well because it's very low sugar, it still tastes delicious. Um, and then there's the little mini yogurt shakes and I don't know why I'm blanking on the name of them right now. They come in a blue bottle, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna put them up here too so you can see what they look like. Um, these are a great source and they're usually 20 grams of protein. Again, as a snack to get in 20 grams of protein, fantastic and again easy to put down in terms of volume um, and again it's just not meat you know sometimes you're just like I don't want to eat more chicken um, so that's really why we're talking about this today so I'm a big fan of including Greek yogurts um, or yogurts in general um, there's also a silk cashew almond milk that has 10 grams of protein per serving it's ones that it's one that we get pretty often. I buy it for if I want to do a shake. Again, think about how I just talked about. You can do one to two scoops of protein powder. What if you just do that one scoop of protein powder, but the one cup of milk that you use for it has 10 grams of protein, and now you're sitting at 32 grams for that one shake without a ton of volume. So um, I will also put that up here so you guys can see what that looks like. Um, this is my favorite one to get if I want to increase protein with less volume um, of food but a lot of your milks are going to have some protein in them. It's just worth checking the label, right? Even like your um, your whole milks to your skim milks and whatnot, like you're going to have things like that there too, okay? So dairy products, always an easy way to increase that protein again without a lot of volume and without being meat. Um, now our next protein source is one that my vegan and vegetarian friends are going to be very familiar with but your peas, your beans, and your lentils, those are all really great sources of protein. And I say really great, I don't mean that they are going to have as much bang per buck as your meat sources are, but a source that is not meat that also helps you get in more protein, your beans, your lentils, and your peas. So chickpeas and black beans for me are kind of a staple. I'm usually having one or two of those um, a week. They're really great because they're a small carb source that also has fiber, but does have protein as well. So if we are trying to add to a meal that already has, let's say some meat. So for example, I tell everyone this, if you're making a taco bowl and you can throw some beans in with your taco bowl or into your burrito, you're increasing your protein and your fiber. It's a great way to do it. Black beans are pretty common. Even things like refried beans, um, you know, any kind of beans are going to have some protein and fiber. Um, and then again, your like peas, your chickpeas, your black eyed peas, what have you, those also have protein in them. So we love to add those into a meal. And again, think if, if your peas are a side to your dinner, um, but they're also providing you with some protein and a decent amount of it. Great way to increase your total protein for the meal without having to add more volume of meat. Um, 
those are my favorite like i said go-to's and lentils as well i don't i don't dabble with lentils quite as much um, i have one of my coaches on my team who is all about lentils and i i've had lentil pasta um, but i just don't typically make lentils um, it does take a little bit more time but you can find some that are already like pre-made and you don't have to do too much too so um, great way to add those things in you can add them to salads you can add them to like i said like a burrito bowl any kind of bowl you make adding in beans or peas super easy to do um, and a great way for you to increase that protein as well now kind of going off of those because those are also still included in this next and last category i'm going to talk about today and this is by no means like an exhaustive list so if you get through all this and you're like what about this what about that yeah there's a ton more but this is like hey let's start here if you're trying to increase your protein and like if you really need more options like google's there for a reason so when it comes to other sources my favorite way to get in more protein is your dual carb protein sources and when i say dual carb protein sources i mean that they're typically more of a carb source but they also pack a decent amount of protein in where you're getting kind of that extra benefit so beans peas and lentils are going to fall into that category right away right they're mostly more carbohydrate heavy um, as far as a protein source goes right so if we're looking at meat like if you're looking at some ground beef like it is protein right we've got some fat but it is protein we're not looking at carbohydrates um, but if you're looking at beans peas like chickpeas black beans they also have carbs and protein so they have a lot of protein as a carb source but they're not like your first thing to go to for being a protein source so those three things also get thrown into this, but other things that give you, um, that are thought of as carb sources, but that do also have protein, there's a lot of those out there. And that to me, again, easy way when your meal gets more protein heavy without you having to add in more of that specific protein source. So things like your whole grain breads, your uh, bagels, right? I love a good bagel, um, are going to have, actually have protein in them too, which is super great. Um, also things like rices, right? We think of rice as a straight carb source and it is mostly carbohydrates but it doesn't mean that it doesn't have some protein um if you are a, a vegan or a vegetarian right and you're looking for a protein powder typically it's coming from a pea powder and a rice powder that's because they have protein so when we're talking about getting in more protein um you don't have to have you know the complete protein source the one that's the highest being the only place you get it right you can be still getting and, and adding up all of that protein from the other pieces of your meal so for example if we're talking about a dinner and I, i'm probably going to plug this in just so you guys can see what it looks like but if we're doing like a burrito or taco bowl right we've got our ground beef let's say we do four ounces of ground beef um in our bowl we add in you know an ounce of black beans we then add in some cheese i, I also didn't mention cheese i realized with dairy but that was that's also included um you sprinkle some mexican shredded cheese um and then you do some brown rice in your bowl it's going to give you a ton of protein in that one meal without you having to go to five, six, seven ounces of meat um, because you're getting the black beans, because you're getting the cheese, because you're getting the rice in there that all have some protein, you're going to have a more um, open palate of different sources giving you protein um, without having to increase, again, that portion size of meat. So I'm going to put in like a basic version of that so you can see what it looks like here. Um, just so you can say, hey, wow, okay, this is what it actually looks like. Van a white moment here. Um, so those are my go-to ways for increasing your protein across your day without necessarily having to increase your amount of meat. Again, I use meat as my main protein source. We do chicken, ground beef, turkey, pork. We do it all in this household. Um, but if you are, let's say, dabbling in um going vegan or vegetarian um, and you're looking for some ways some of this stuff will obviously help but also if you're just looking for a way to increase your protein without having to force down another chicken breast um, which if you're if you've been forcing down chicken breast i highly suggest you switch to chicken thighs it's much more appetizing for most people um, but either way this is just a way for us to increase that protein not necessarily have to take in more volume of meat sources for protein and still have a great balance across your diet so if you liked this video go ahead and give it a like and subscribe um, i put out videos as often as i can i'm a new mom the reason i'm able to do this video right now is because baby girl is sleeping um but we do health we do fitness we do nutrition here we also do travel stuff um we also do hauls every once in a while you know this is kind of a channel um that incorporates all um i'm a big theme park fan as well so you'll see lots of disney and universal content um when i do visit the parks 
which is a little bit less right now again have a new baby um she's actually about to be 12 weeks by the time this video goes up which is wild um but yeah so we have fun here um, and i'd love for you to join along so we'll see you next time bye